Hello guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Career Advice. So, I hope you guys are learning well and your technological ability, your consulting ability is increasing by watching our videos. So, do let me know whether your ability of consulting in SAP practices and the SAP modules are increasing or not. And uh, yeah, let's have a conversation with uh, with you and me that how how things are improving in your life. You d do not forget to drop us an email. Uh, if you are liking our videos, thanking a note, that will inspire me and team to put more such content like this. Also, please do like, subscribe, share to your friends, to your colleagues, so that it will help us to, so that it will help us to motivate, <laughs> so that it will help to motivate us to put more such content, to put more such effort, like we are doing every week. So, so then, uh, what we are going to talk about today? So we are going to talk about clearing controls. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm reading another screen. So uh, it's a clearing control. It's a whole architecture. Uh, how the, how your payments come in? How you will how will clear those the uh, the utility payments? And if there are any backlogs, if there are any pendings, how you will handle those those stuff? And if there are any subsidies given in those payments, how those stuff will be handled? So we will we'll talk about the whole whole structure and the you know the payment type etc. And we will also see how those things will be configured by going to SPR. So we will talk about those SPRO paths. Okay. So I hope you guys are practicing those stuff well. And if not, then you know you cannot much progress with it. So do practice a lot. Uh, with your SAP server and do let me know if you have if you are stuck in somewhere or if you need any help in that okay so without wasting time then let's start the class on clearing control let's begin thank you but what is clearing and how the clearing controls are done now clearing if you go to the definition of the clearing so the clearing control is a tool for configuring a company's clearing strategy. So how the clearing will happen after which open items, that is the clearing strategy. Now that clearing strategy is done through the clearing control tools. Now it contains rules. We already discussed in our last sessions how the postings are happening and in between that there is a clearing process and clearing process holds the clearing rules. And because of the clearing rules, we have a proposal, clearing proposals, and that automatically take the payment assignment and clear the amounts based on their priority. Okay. So it is splitting the clearing algorithm into multiple set, uh, work steps, and each step will be linked to one condition or, or we can say the clearing configuration and clearing category. That means if you are going to clear any amount, okay, so like the incoming payment is coming against the open items. The open items there, against open items, the incoming payments are coming. So this clearing uh, process, what they will do, it will divide all these incoming uh, open items into several steps. Because we have many open items, all the open items can be divided one, 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 one. We want to end clearing step with divide. Then it has two terms, clearing type and clearing category. So it catch the clearing category and clearing type from where? From the contract account, it catch the clearing category. If you recollect, when you create the contract account, we apply a clearing category. Now from clearing category and from the business transaction, it fix a clearing type. So against the incoming payment type of the payment and uh, how much payment is coming based on that, we get a clearing type and from the contract account, we get a clearing category. Now, once we combine this, we get a clearing policy or rule by adding these two and that we need to apply against these steps, which need to be get cleared. So, that means we are creating a clearing variance. So clearing variants are determined depending on the clearing type of the underlying business process and optionally on the clearing category of the contract account in which the clearing is to take place. Now, 
uh, it's saying that optionally we need to go to the clearing category, but mandatory is um, clearing type. Now, why clearing category is optional? Because sometimes people don't give clearing categories. Now, if the clearing categories are not given, even if that, in that case, it will directly copy the clearing type and taken as the uh, clearing rule. So clearing types are structured according to their areas of use. Example, like incoming payment, account maintenance, clearing types are hard coded. What, what are the clearing types you should have in your account? And these hard coding uh, will be available in your uh, one of the table TFK001 uh, and custom specific from uh, different different customer has their different different clearing types. So that need to be you know, defined there. So clearing category are the defined in contract account. As a result, you can use the clearing category to allocate individual clearing rules. Now, clearing type, we, we know the clearing type are different based on the different customers and we can figure them to clear the accounts. And then these are, uh, then we have clearing category, which we can figure at the contract account level. And when they combine, they will create a, uh, a priority kind of stuff. So here you can see these are the clearing types which are hard coded. So if somebody is doing manual posting, it has the highest, highest priority. Manual account maintenance, all those stuff. So these are the clearing type. Okay. Now, so all these are related to incoming payment incoming payment and account maintenance because it is also getting posted into the GL after clearing. So distribute the clearing amounts among the dependent items, dependent items like, like one of the credit card lot, dependent, incoming payment, dependent. Okay. So we have to do the validations because credit card needs the validation from the bank. But before clearing, we need to put like this X, the amount assignment available amount for the payment is there or not. If it is manual, you need not to because they have to pay. But for otherwise, we have to check whether the amount is available. Then we'll proceed for the payments. That means when we do a payment, before that we already check the contract account, what are the open items, how much they want to clear, and we are uh, considering the clearing type from the hard-coded clearing type and we pick the clearing category and apply that. So the payment will come. Like here in this case, you can see there is a 600 payment and the incoming payment is coming like uh, 600 for 2nd January. Okay. Now the contract account come here and for 2nd January, it clears the 600. Okay, the date it is showing us uh, third third of uh, third of sorry fourteenth of March. So this is the first of February. Fourteenth of March it get cleared minus six hundred. That means whatever the total amount is there, we deduct six hundred. Now out of this, which we need to clear. So that will come from the clearing type and clearing category. It will create a rule. We will check the due dates. As for the due date, the 500 need to be clear. But if there will be any law, then we stop that 500 will proceed with 600. So 600 paid, we cleared 600. Okay, for the uh, first of paid. That's how we will clear first because the due date, the due date of 600 is overlapped. So first we check the line items which are already the due date is arrived. Now first we'll try to clear them. Once that is clear, then we'll proceed which date is available. Because of the 1st of March, uh, maybe it has a period of uh, 30 days, so it has more time. Right. So it will first clear, which is approaching the due date. Okay. 500 is not clear because of some other reasons. So it will check everything and clear. Now, which even if the, there is no locking, it will check which is 
um, the the uh, matching amount equals to equals. So the 600 equals to 600, it clears the 600, even if there is no locking for 500. Now, if we go to the integrate the clearing in, uh, control, we, we have to go to the events. Now we have two events, event uh, 0110 and event 0120. In between them, we put this clearing proposal at the event level. And this proposal will be stored at the database level. So like if you know the functional modules, we have a functional module create document and clear that will help to clear the amounts. And whatever we configure at the proposal level, it will pick that as priority and it will do the clearing. Okay. Now, if, if you are applying the clearing um, uh, control, you can apply the characteristic. We already discussed, we apply at the display level, the characteristics. Similarly, you can apply here also in clearing. Most of the time we need majorly two characteristics company code and device items others yes others automatically fetch from there because if these two line items are there in a document which need to be get clear we will be able to clear even if sometime company code is not required people will leave it blank they only put the amount this much amount due date is this so from due date and amount and the actually contract account it it cleared but if, even if it is not there due from the due date and the from the amount it also defined whichever the amount will be there it will clear that amount okay but if you have the contract account due date it's for the only due date uh, um, items if it have multiple due dates or multiple amounts then definitely you need different different contract account, main ledger, sub ledger, contracts. Even for a single contract account, if there are multiple contracts, you need the contracts as well. If there are multiple open items, then you go for the grouping key. How to clear? Okay. So depending if it is single individual line item, you can proceed. If there are multiple, each time we have to divide with different different characteristics. Otherwise, you can't get a unique, uh, unique open item to clear. So that was our objective to get a unique open item to clear. That's how we are adding more and more characteristics to identify the unique, uh, uh, unique open item. Okay. So clearing control. Setup, you can see we have all the options here manually if we want to clear and set up. And we put the clearing rules. Okay. And that will help to grouping, sorting, and understanding the depending amount, the characteristics to clear. So you can see here there are multiple uh, dates. Okay, new date and item dates. So those things can be configured at the uh, event label if you want. Even if you want to sort them, you can also sort them. It's a bit technical, but yes, uh, you can go with the default one or else you can change that. If you don't have grouping or if you have grouping, you can put the alternate group rules as well during the manual clearance. Okay, so there is when we do the clearing, there is another um, uh, major stuff we are looking into uh, for from the amount whichever is paid by any person. So we check actually four stuff: the currency, like when I we are configuring the charges, also it is asking for the currency, the currency, the amount, absolute limit, absolute limit means how much they want to pay, uh, percentage limit. Okay, if there have been charges, what would be the percentage? And once all these are clear, then we'll proceed for the clearing. And clearing then means it will be received. So from the credit to become uh, debit. So it is, uh, 
follow these rules to get posted against the check amounts. Okay. Okay, so you can see here there is a clearing type as R41 where you have a clearing category, main transaction, sub transaction, uh, status of the clearing and the interval. Okay, and we have multiple open items. So first open item, clearing the open item, very good because we have the clearing category, we have intervals. Second, okay, clearing, but third, we put a lock, no clearing. The clock is there, that's how it is not cleared. So that's how there will be clearing uh, restrictions we can put for clearing because it automatically provided to stop any open item, even even single open items. So to do the configuration for the clearing control, we need to go to the same basic functions, open item management, clearing control. And you have to define all these uh, amount check groups, clearing variant, and define the clearing categories and clearing type. These two are major stuff, defining the clearing category and clearing type, which will combine and create the clearing groups, and that will create kind of a policy to clear the open items. Okay, so here there is an example how they create a um, account maintenance from the clearing perspective once you maintain all these main sub transaction due date and amounts then when the clearing will happen uh, for different different uh, policies based on the clearing variant which is again coming from the you know, clearing group and clearing category they will clear each step they will clear one one amount and they will like here in 25 first step they clear 25 second they divide into 20 again and five is open for them. Okay, so because of different different rules, they will apply to so each step. It, the, the perspective will get changed, and finally you will get the final output. But that all things are internal in nature. Uh, it's based on the different different documents. Each document has different line items. Each line item has different uh, clearing rule and clearing category. Uh, so that that will differ for each documents. Now, if there will be some open item missing in that case, when you do the investigation, you have to go back to each of the open items and understand which particular open item is not here. It's a difficult task, but mostly if you have the document, you can proceed with that and you can check the clearing rules why it was not yet here. So FKKOP is the table where you can see the clearing strategy for the amount maintenance. And from there, you can reverse back and trace back which amount is not cleared because of any reason. So this is the clearing stuff. So here you can see the clearing controls. So define clearing category, define clearing type. Clearing variant, you define once you fix all the stuff and that can be applied. Defining the specification for clearing type. Okay, so these things are for clearing. If you want, you can Configure the categories already. Categories are configured over to one clearing category. Uh, we already did that in our one of the class. Clearing types are there. Okay. So, any questions regarding the clearing control? Okay. Anyway, uh, thanks for your time. Uh, you will